Hey folks, got another review for you this time. The 100 Days <coughs> Supplement to the Blue Shirt Napoleonic Rules. Uh, this is a set of cards and uh, everything you need basically to play out the uh, campaign of the 100 Days. <coughs> you get all the unit cards, objective cards, and all kinds of goodies. Nice sturdy box. I really like these boxes actually. You can store your cards in there for a lifetime actually. Uh, here's what you get. You get uh, 216 high quality cards, which is nice. 167. 176, sorry, unit cards for the French, Anglo-Allied, Prussian armies for the 1815 campaign. I get personality cards for all the armies involved. Uh, and as well, like I said, column markers, counters, and objective markers for both sides. And I have some samples of the cards you get in the box. Sorry for that glare there. <clears throat> anyway, so let's pop it open and see what's in here. Like I said, it's a nice sturdy box. I like it. I took some of the cards out, which I will show you what you get in a second. I got all these Prussian cards here. And you got the nice Prussian flag on the back. You got the British cards. Uh, really beautiful cards. And again, these are standard playing cards in size as well as quality. Uh, you get the same texture and protection you'd ex expect on a playing card on these cards. Uh, and here's an example of some of the units. The unit types that are on there, horse artillery, Prussian. You got the Elan, any special traits, and so on. You got the fire arc. If you don't use miniatures, that's what this is really for, <clears throat> which is ideal. I mean, if you just want to try out the rules, that's what these cards are ideal for. Uh, not mandatory. You don't need them to play Blucher. But you can use them. In fact, when I started playing Blucher, I used these very cards uh, to fight my battles. Some more of the cards. And one thing that's unique about these cards, unlike the War to the Death uh, Peninsular campaign box supplement, uh, these cards actually have the specific units they represent from the 100 Days campaign. As you can see there, all the different brigades and, and such, as well as core assignments. Uh, that's really nice, high quality cards. I really like these. Uh, and you get the Prussians, and you get the British, and you get the French as well. Take a look at them. <clears throat> Again, there's that nice tricolor flag. You got the specific units named. Nice picture of the units, their movement rates, line infantry, what they are, special traits, uh, Elan, uh, core assignments, and so on and so forth. Perfect for when you're playing Blucher. Now, I usually take these cards and put them in a plastic sleeves like this to protect them, which I highly recommend you do. These are cheap enough, these little plastic protectors. You can get them anywhere you buy cards. Uh, these are examples of the column cards, and you use these in the Scharnhorst campaign. Um, column Q, column O, so on and so forth. Uh, there's the French columns, as you can see. And on the reverse side, you got this nice artwork going on. Get that glare out of there. Uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. I like them. Here's a couple counters you get also, the campaign counters. Nice artwork once again. Flip it over and you get these little cutout counters uh, for the campaign. Uh, I don't advise cutting out these nice cards. Uh, you might as well photocopy them and then cut them out. Here's the British, or the French ones, and the British ones over here. All the little markers you need to play out a Scharnhorst campaign for the 100 days. Here's some objective cards, which would be used in your battles when you set up Blucher. You know, there's usually objectives laid out on the table by each player. Uh, in this case, it would be a big card that would be the objective laid on the table. Uh, French, British, show you whose is whose. Uh, yeah, very nice. We got some more cards that you get in the box set. Again, nice artwork. Look at that. Wow. These are personality cards uh, from the 100 Days campaign. As you can see, here's Ney. You got Kellerman, Napoleon, of course, CNC. And you get a bunch of them specifically for the campaign. Hill. Here's some more unit cards for the Prussians. Uh, again, you got the unit identification. Look at that. Really nice. Uh, beautiful. So that's the cards <coughs> that you get in the box set. And. Uh, one other thing I should note about this box set is that for free, you can download the 100 Days Campaign. Uh, it's a PDF document. You can get it on our game's website, and it basically is a modified form of Scharnhorst that actually lets you play the 
the 100 Days campaign. Uh, basically, a bunch of linked battles is what it ultimately uh, is. Uh, and that's free. But otherwise, you don't get any written literature or rules in these box sets. And there's only two of them. There's this one, and then there's the War to the Death Peninsular Campaign uh, box set. There's no writing up in this. It's basically just cards to represent your units on the tabletop. Uh, ideally, until you get miniatures, unless you already have them. So, yeah, folks, I think it's worth having. I started off playing Blucher with these cards. And after reading the rule book for about 20 to 30 minutes, I had my cards on the table and I was playing. And I was hooked on Napoleonics ever since. So, again, you don't need to buy this, but it, it is recommended. It's highly recommended by me, especially if you're new to Napoleonic gaming. Uh, it's a great thing to have on your bookshelf. Okay, folks, there you go. I hope you enjoyed. Do you have any questions or comments about this box set? Let me know. Um, if anything you want me to review in the future, please leave a comment as well, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, folks, I hope you enjoy. Take care.